Hey what's up guys this is Wasi from FrameLineVisualEffects.com and welcome back to my another brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to create this. This video is sponsored by Video Lancer. Are you looking for these transitions, but those ones that work directly in Premiere Pro? You have found them. Yes, this is the Premiere Pro version of the most popular transitions for today. More than 1,000 seamless transitions with smooth professional animation. Zoom transitions. Slides. Glitch. Light leaks split, and many other things. Just choose the appropriate transition and drag it to the timeline. It's ready. Do you make video blog, wide format film, or vertical video for Instagram? No problem. This package is optimized for any aspect ratio. Do you need sound design? Every transition includes sound effect. Do you want to move the zoom target? It's quite possible. Using our transitions can make your video project more professional. Seamless transitions for Premiere Pro. Lift your videos to the next level. Are you looking for an amazing professional transition? Then don't forget to check Video Lancer. Link in the description box below so please check this out. Can I get 500 likes for this tutorial? If yes please hit the like button. Ok so let's get started. Ok so first create a new composition. And let's call it text. And I'm going with same 1920 1080p frame rate 30 and duration make it 6 seconds long then click on OK. Ok now we are creating a text layer so right click new then click on text. Then type your text here. I type in Taylor. Then make it center. Increase the size little bit. Ok now pre-compose this layer so right click pre-compose and select move all attributes then click on ok. Ok let's import our project files you can download these project files from link in the description box below so please check this out. Ok now select this metal texture layer and place it into your timeline then change the track mat to alpha mat if you don't see the track mat button simply click here then change the track mat to alpha mat ok now select this layer and press ctrl plus d to duplicate this layer then turn on visibility of this layer then go to effect and preset window and search for fill then select this effect and apply onto this layer then fill color set it black then again go to effect and preset window and search for bevel alpha. Then select this effect and apply onto this layer. Then change the light angle and then uh, edge thickness set it 1.5. Then change the layer mode to add. Ok now make another copy of this layer. So press ctrl plus d to duplicate this layer. Perfect. Ok now we are going to create another composition. So go to composition, new composition and let's call it main. Then click on ok. Ok now go to project window and then select our background and then place it into this timeline. Then select the text comp and put it above the background layer. Perfect. Ok now open this Taylor comp layer then copy this text layer by pressing ctrl plus c then go to main comp and then press ctrl plus b to paste the layer. Ok now turn off visibility of this layer. Ok now we are create a solid layer so right click new then click on solid and rename it to Saber. Then click on ok. Ok now go to effect and preset window and search for Saber. You can download this free plugin from link in the description box below so please check this out. Then select this effect and apply onto this black solid layer. 
Okay, now change some settings. Uh, glow intensity set to 30 percent. Glow sprayer set it 0.2, and then glow bias set it 0.6, and then core size set it 1.5. Then go to customize core, and then core type set it text layer. Then text layer set it our Taylor, and then uh, start size set it zero, and then end offset set it zero. Then go to beginning of this animation. Then set a keyframe on start offset. Then go forward few seconds, and then start offset set it ten percent. Perfect. Then set a keyframe on end offset. Then go forward few seconds, and then end offset set it ten percent. Perfect. Now select this layer and press U to open keyframes. Okay, now go to beginning of this animation and set a keyframe on max evolution. Then go forward two seconds, and then max evolution set it uh, to eighteen degree. Perfect. Okay, now change the layer mode to add. Then select this layer. And press Ctrl plus D to duplicate this layer. Okay, now go to beginning of this animation, and then select this layer and press U to open keyframes. Then change the max evolution amount to 281 degree. And then go to the next keyframe. Here also change the max evolution amount. Okay, let's change the color. You can choose your own color. I am going with orange color. Then click on OK. Looks good to me. OK, now make all layer 3D. Also turn on motion blur for all layers. OK, now we are create a camera. So right click New and then click on Camera. Then click on OK. Now select our background layer. Then press P to open position. Then Z amount set it three eight double zero. Then select this layer, and then press S to open scale and increase the scale amount. Something like this. Perfect. Okay, now create a null object. So right click, new, and click on. Null object. Then put it above the camera layer and make it 3D. Then select this camera layer and parent it to null one. Okay, now select this null object. Then press P to open position. Then go to beginning of this animation and then Z amount set it 2000. Then set a keyframe on position. Then go forward few seconds and then Z amount set it zero. Okay, now select this second keyframe. Then right click keyframe assistant. Then click on Easy Ease In. Then select the first keyframe and choose Easy Ease Out. Okay, now select these two keyframe. Then open Graph Editor and then change the graph crop to something like this. Perfect. Okay, now create another null object. So right click New and click on Null Object. And make it 3D layer. Then select the null one, and then parent it to null two. Then uh, go to beginning of this animation. Then press P to open position. Then set keyframe on position, and then go to end of this animation. Then decrease the Z amount little bit. Okay, now turn on this motion blur icon. Okay, let's run PVV it. Wow, it's look really nice.
Okay, now go to project window and select this light layer and then place it into this timeline. Then change the layer mode to add. Okay, now we are going to create a adjustment layer. So right click new and then click on adjustment layer. Then go to effect and preset window and search for brightness and contrast. Then select this effect and apply onto this layer and then brightness set it minus 30 and contrast set it 20 then go to effect and preset window and search for noise then select this effect and apply onto this adjustment layer and noise amount set it uh, 5% Again go to effect and PC window and search for sharpen. Then select this effect and apply onto this adjustment layer and then sharpen amount set it 20. Okay now we are created a black solid layer so right click new and click on solid and rename it to flimber. Then click on ok. Then go to toolbar and then select rectangle tool and double click on it then double click on this max path and then hold down alt and control and drag and then click on invert perfect our animation is ready press 0 to ramp view this thank you so much for watching this tutorial have a great day